guys, Edith Essentials here. So I was leaving my apartment in the morning sometime last week and I saw someone throw this away. I quickly picked it up because there has been a particular lady who has been requesting for a throne chair. And if you see the structure of this chair, the base just fits what I can use for a throne chair. Now the first thing I did was to take it out and clean it and take off the top. The wood that's at the bottom could not come off. I guess it was kind of attached to the base of the chair, so I just left it there. I cleaned the whole thing again and sanded it down, and then I spray painted it silver. I got particle boards from Home Depot, and then I'm gonna draw out the shape that I want on the chair. I'm gonna cut the shape on two boards, and then on one board, I'm gonna cover it with one inch foam. I'm gonna make points on the foam and I'm just gonna be eyeballing this. I didn't really measure it, but it should be around five inches apart. The next thing I'll do is make holes on these points with a pair of scissors. I want a design at the top, so I'm gonna be putting extra foam there. I will use this old mirror frame that I've had for a while. And I think I got it from Daytona. I don't remember because it's been a while. So this is the back that came with it. And the mirror is really heavy and also strong. So that's what I'll be using for the project. So I'm gonna cut out the top and the bottom part. I'm gonna clean both of them and then spray paint them silver. The gold is so pretty, but for this DIY, I'm going to be making use of silver. I will draw out the inner shape that I have on the wood carving here, and then cut it with a pair of scissors and attach it to the board. I'll be covering the foam with batting and then making holes through it. This is the fabric that I'll be using for the throne chair. And today's tufting is going to be done with the staple gun. I'm just going to locate where the hole is and staple it down. When I was done, I cut off the excess fabric and then placed what I just made on the chair. It's going to be attached to the wood that's in the middle. Before doing that, I stapled the lower side. The curve on this chair was the reason why I got strong and flexible boards. The fabric that's at the right is kind of short and that's my fault because I cut it too short. So I'm going to be adding more fabric there by gluing it on with a hot glue gun. I'm going to carefully cut out the shape that's at the top from the fabric and then glue it down neatly. The longer parts from the old mirror is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to spray paint them silver and then attach them to the chair.
trying to increase the height and then form another shape at the top. I'll be adding something here much later to make the pattern go downward. This is what the back looks like. And what I've just added has been attached to the board that's at the back and the chair. Now the second board with the exact shape is going to be covered with the same fabric. This is going to be attached at the back. Next thing I'll do is to attach the carving that I have in between the two boards. I'll be adding two more to the other side. This is the board that was at the back of the old mirror. I'm going to cut it to the size that I want for the top and then cover it with fabric. This part that's not fully covered will be in the front and then this part here will be at the back. Because of this rope design that's here, I got the silver rope from Joanne's fabric. I'll be attaching this by the side to cover up the space in between the boards and to also extend the design downward. When cutting the silver rope, don't forget to tape it first to prevent shedding. I'll be adding more till I fill up the space. And I'm going to be attaching the rope with a hot glue gun and tack nails. The next set of tack nails will be attaching the rope to the old frame of the chair. Now for the seating. I have foam covered up in fabric and then I have a canvas panel that's going to be at the bottom and then I'm attaching the fabric only at the side that's going to be at the back. And then I'm going to place it on the chair and attach it to the wood that's right under it. The rough edges at the top where the design is is going to be covered with diamond wrap. I'll cover up the screw head with one of the piece that's from the silver trim that I got from Walmart. The staple pins that's showing on the chair will be covered up with crystal buttons. The second piece that's from the old mirror is going to be attached to the bottom of the chair. After attaching this, I realized that it was a little bit too big, so I reduced it just a bit. Now the picture that's on the left is what it was before, and the one that's on the right is the reduction. The rough edges under the chair will be covered up with this tube that I made from the same fabric. All I did to turn a normal dining chair into this was to add another pattern on top of the existing frame that's on the chair. Because it's a throne chair, I made it really high. This is what it looks like side by side with regular chairs. I am not a professional furniture maker, 
but I just love exploring new ways to switch up the look of an old furniture into something glamorous using pieces that you already have, like an old mirror. Before embarking on a project like this, you have to make sure that the carving that you're gonna use is strong and sturdy enough to be on a chair. This was a fun, quick and easy way to switch up the look from an old and boring chair into this. I hope you all learned one or two things from this DIY. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.